Alrighty. Thank you again for joining us with Let's Play with Zori. We're going to try Hearts and Minds. This is the final boss with uh, the Heart of Thorns expansion. This will be fun. This is my second attempt. Mordremoth didn't even try to cover its tracks. Either this is a trap, or the dragon's getting desperate. Doesn't matter. Traherne's here, and even if he is just bait, he'll still lead us to Mordremoth. You've made it this far. Are you ready for one last push? I am. I will never be the dragon's slave. We've got company. <laughs> down here. Helps to go slow that way. You don't aggro too many of these blister pod enemies. Such a small area, not something you really want. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Marshal Traher. Can you hear me? Commander. The pact. Is it? All but gone, Marshal. But my team and I will finish this. It's too late. I know. I am part of the jungle dragon now. It is everywhere. So how do we kill it? Burn every field, fell every forest? No. It can't be defeated that way. It'll just grow back. Its roots have spread too far. Too deep. Then we destroy the root. Mordromoth's mind. Its strongest attacks come from its mind. From the dream. That's our target. Sound strategy, Commander. Turn the tables and attack the dragon the same way it's been attacking us. Brilliant. You don't need a translator to understand that. The dragon doesn't like this idea. Yes. Strike at the dragon's mind through the dream. It can work. And my connection will provide the access you need. The Wadanovic said each elder dragon has a weak spot. We just identified Mordramoth's. I'm ready. If I concentrate, I can open a path into the dream, into Mordramoth's mind. Your minds will make the journey, but your bodies will remain here in the cavern. <clears throat> I've seen enough metaphysical landscapes lately. I'll stay behind to keep the Mordram at bay. I'll stay too. If something goes wrong, or Traherne isn't what he seems to be, I'll be standing by. All right. Three of us go in, three of us stay behind. My mother deserves justice, and I deserve the chance to get it for her. I'm gonna take Bram and strike Keith this time. You may not trust me, but I will not let any more Silvari become like Fowlin. Better death for my people than that. Very well. Just don't die in there, or you'll ruin an otherwise noble gesture. <laughs> your mind to ashes before I'm done. Listening to these lies. You're not my mother. You're Mordramoth's toy. Come on! Oh. You have to whack time. And then when he goes down, the thin air will become vulnerable.
thankfully Garm goes down pretty easy. Time or range approach. She's just able to teleport to his corpse, so let's try to weaponize that. Motherfucker.
crap. Phoenix One, is this another trick? Look there, a rift open. Maybe now we can break Mordromop's illusion. Let's widen the rift. The more we crack open this nightmare, the weaker Mordromop becomes. Down she goes. Commander, at the end there, she seemed like herself. That's because we overcame Mordremoth's illusion. And the real heir would be proud of how you did it. I need some space! Now this one is the pale tree. Mordromoth, Silvari will cease to exist. The dragon created us. It sustains us, defines us. Without it, we wither and die. I have to end Mordromoth's influence on us. It doesn't want soldiers, only mindless thralls. You fight for natural harmony and to ensure your family's future, but without Mordromoth, you can't have either. Yet I fight on. Better to be dead or nothing than to be what Mordremoth would make us. You've made a poor choice. Oh, this one should be somewhat easier. Mordromoth is the one getting stronger, and we have to stop it.
Come on. Huh. That's first run stalker looks surprisingly like Case. Oh, peace. Thank you. Yeah. Unlike Kanak, these guys can actually hear you here because he's not down in the critical part of the fight. <laughs> Just something to consider. its control if you say so but i'm ready to strike if that fails that's enough violence for now that's what the pale tree would have been what silvari would have been if mordramoth maintained control of her i was right better no future than that i have to see this through no matter what Hildramoth has to die. Glad to hear you say that. But you'll have to prove it before I fully trust you again. Until then, I'll contribute. Mordramoth seems unable to maintain its illusions in the face of such fierce resistance. We're weakening it. Breaking its grip on the Mindscape gives us the chance to take control. Our minds have power here, too. Let's use it. I'll keep breaking Mordramoth's illusions until it's weak enough to kill. You want to be a part of that? Follow me. And now Mordramoth is going to join the fight directly. I need some space! Forever into a limbo. We are the 
Now he's gonna pop into our minds and pull things out. And the more of these we defeat, the stronger we come against Mortar Mob. We're gonna go into the reality rift and break it up. And he's out. And with each ally we free, we get their boons down here. So it's completely, completely worthwhile. Oh. Yoink! <sighs> oh, thanks, boss. Now we end this. Keep building your massive strike. Shield yourself, or take to the skies now!
Is he done yet? Is he done yet? Okay, he done. poking in our minds about now. Thank you, Bram. Right. Rip her open. You've toyed with me for the last time. Poking around again here shortly. Sarah. Go pay for this, Mortemoth. I am power itself. I am life itself. Yeah, Siren was our uh, help from the uh, Order. So this one was the order. The priory. Depending on which route you took, it could have been uh, the old man or Tibble. Always a pleasure, Siren. Let's finish this. Here it comes again. Protect yourselves or go airborne. This should be the last time, I believe, he flips out like this. Like 
we have like all these distances now. It's almost not funny. <sighs> You know what, there might be one last air attack, but other than that, I think we're okay. Hold off on these guys while they make him vulnerable. <laughs> Almost done. Just a little more. Bam. You gonna die, Morty? Moth is dead. Truly dead. I can't hear its voice in my head. It's completely gone. And we Silvaria still here. Still us. I wasn't sure. Commander. I my sword, Gallard Bogue, is nearby. It was a gift. From the pale tree, I am connected, bonded to it. Only it's 
power can free me from this. Please, bring it here. <laughs> it magically fixed itself. I have the sword, Marshal. Quickly now. Use it on me. Kill me, Commander. What? No. Mordramoth is dead. We destroyed its mind from the inside. But I still hear its voice. Mordramoth is alive. One last hateful vestige. A terrible seed planted deep in my mind. You must kill me, Commander, before that seed grows. Before Mordromoth reclaims what it has lost. What's left of me can't survive on its own. Strike. I am the future. I am this world. You cannot destroy me. I will rise me for nothing. Stand back. I'm ending this. Now. Okay. Ooh, a glowy. Arts completed. Broken Kellad Bog. The Armor Box. Victor's Cache. And the Dragon Vine Strap. You can never have too much treasure. And we are done with the Heart of Thorns expansion. I thank you for joining me today. In case you're wondering what I was using, I do have the utility primer. I got it basically for, uh, you know, through the cash door. I used nourishment from the, uh, this roll right here, the tropical pepper cake plus health, vitality. And then I used the, uh, let's see here, ghoul's blessing, which is lumps of crystal and nougat, which raises the condition, precision, and toughness, which is a boon to the build I was using. And that's pretty much how I did this on my own. So if you need help doing the same, you know, maybe there's some advice you can look through here. Thank you again for joining with us. I guess I'm going to be starting the living season three next week. Take care.